Hey y'all, it's Alex from You Should Craft and today I'll show you how to make this ripple dishcloth. So the bottom has ripples and then it also has some skinny stripe details and it's the same um, on the top as well. In order to crochet this, you will need two balls of whatever your main color is in cotton worsted weight yarn. I'm using Dishy from We Crochet and this light blue color is called Azure. And then I need um, just a little bit of a different color for my stripes. So I'm using Dishy again and this one is called Kanai and it's kind of like a dark tealish color. And then you'll need a J six millimeter crochet hook and your regular notion. So like scissors and a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. So in order to crochet this, um, the first thing you're going to do is chain 51. If you want to adjust the size of your towel, um, you can chain any multiple of 10 plus 1. But 51 will give me a width that's pretty similar to what like a standard dish towel would be. So go ahead and get started on your starting chain and I'll show you what's next. All right, so I chained 51. If you have not done that yet, then pause <laughs> and chain 51, but I'm going to show you row one. So to make a ripple stitch, um, we're going to be doing a combination of increasing and decreasing to create little waves in our fabric. Um, these ripples are pretty light. Um, there are some patterns where it's like almost sharp. And these are more of like a rolling ripple, I guess. <laughs> but all right, so we're going to be using double crochet for this first row. I'm going to yarn over, skip the first two chains, and double crochet into the third chain from my hook. And that is actually going to be an increase. So I'm going to put a second double crochet in that same chain. And then I will do one double crochet in the next chain. And then now it's time for us to do our very first decrease. So I'm actually going to do two decreases back to back. And I'm going to be doing those by double crocheting two stitches together. So we are going to start off our double crochet like normal and now I've done the first two thirds of it and I'm going to yarn over and start a new stitch in this second chain. So here I now have two like two third double crochets which gives me a total of three loops and I yarn over and pull all through. So that's my very first DC two tag or double crochet two together. So now I'm going to do a second one. I've yarned over, I'm inserting my hook, pulling up a loop, pulling through the first two loops on my hook. So that's two thirds done. And now I'm going to start the next one. So yarning over and inserting my hook into the next chain, pulling through again. Now I've got three loops on my hook and I'm pulling through all of those. So now I've got my first two decreases and that's gonna create kind of that valley in our ripple pattern. So now we need to go up the hill and we're gonna do two normal double crochet stitches. So here's one in one stitch and whoop. Here's the second one in that next stitch. So now I'm at the peak, the top of my mountain, and I'm going to increase. So that means I'm going to put two double crochets in this stitch and the next stitch. So I've got two increases back to back.
And so now that's the top of like the peak of my mountain. So I'm going to do two normal double crochets to get back down to my valley before I decrease again. So here's one and two. And then now I do another decrease. So I'm going to do two double crochets together. So here's my first one. I'm inserting my hook, pulling through to give me like two thirds of a double crochet. And then I yarn over and insert my hook. Finish off that second, like two thirds double crochet. Now I've got three loops on my hook and I pull through all of them. And then here's my second decrease. I'm going to do that same thing again, a DC two together. Here we go. And I'm going to pull through all three of those loops. And now to go back down my hill, or I mean up my hill, I'm going to double crochet two. And so if we look, we can see, and again, it, it's pretty small. Um, I didn't want like giant ripples for this project. I just want it to be kind of like a slight detail on the border. But here are our first ripples. So you're starting to see them. And again, we just went up our hill again. So now I'm going to increase twice. So this stitch will, or this chain will have two double crochet stitches in it. And my next chain will also have two double crochet stitches in it. So two increases back to back. So there we go. And now we're going to go back down our hill. So two normal double crochets. And I hope that you're picking up on the pattern that we're doing in this project. Because we increase twice and then we do two normal double crochets. And then we decrease twice and then we do two normal double crochets. Um, I was talking though. Um, so I forgot to update you on what I was doing, but I did my two double crochets to go down my hill and now I'm going to decrease. So here's my first decrease. And remember we do that twice. And then I'm going to pull through all those loops. And now I just do two normal double crochets. And now I'm at the top of my mountain again. So I'm going to increase twice. So 
So there's my first increase. Now I'm going to put two double crochets in this chain for my second increase. And now I'm going to do two normal double crochets to go down my hill. And let's just quickly take a look at what we've got going so far. So you can see it's slight, but we've got our little ripples starting to show up. So you will continue to follow this pattern until you get to the very end. You're going to end on one increase. So your last chain will have two double crochets in it. And then I'll catch back up with you to show you how we start off row two. And then the next couple of rows are going to be literally exactly the same as this. So finish up this pattern. Um, remember, we just just increased twice and then did two double crochets to go down our hill. So you're going to have two decreases, then two double crochets, then two increases until you get to the end. All right, so I'm on my last stitch of row one. And remember, we're going to increase. So I've actually got two double crochets going into this very last chain. And then we can take a quick sec to look at our towel so far. So again, just kind of a slight ripple. Um, there are patterns that make this sharper, more defined. Um, some of those work by skipping stitches like I did in my Mystic Ripple Blanket. That gives it a little bit of a more of a like a point at the tips. But for this towel, I just wanted like a rolling decrease or I mean a rolling ripple. So our decreases and increases aren't quite as severe as some patterns. Um, now we're going to chain two. Um, remember that counts as a stitch. And we're going to increase in this very first. Oh my gosh, this is all weird. So we're going to increase in this very first stitch. So I'm actually going to do another double crochet here. And then we're going to go down the hill. So we're going to do one, two, and those are our normal double crochets. And then we're at the decrease part. And so moving until the end, this is like legit the same as row one. So you'll We'll do our two decreases here and then we'll do two double crochets to go up the hill and then we'll do two increases and then we'll do two double crochets to go down the hill. <laughs> so you'll follow that exact same pattern and you're actually going to do that up until the end of row six. So our first six rows are all going to be the same and then we'll add a little bit of a stripe accent. So Go ahead and get going with that. Again, we're doing the first six rows. So here's one and part of two, and you're going through number six. So I finished my first six rows, and now I'm about to switch to my second color, um, which is this kind of dark teal color, and I'm just going to use that for a stripe. So I've yarned over in that color. I've left a tail of six ish inches. You don't really have to measure it, but just make sure that you've like got enough. Um, now I'm setting up my yarn and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use single crochets. So this will give me, um, like a skinny stripe. So I'm going to start off with 
that increase. So, whoops. So two single crochets in my very first stitch. And make sure that you like pull it tight on the side where you joined your yarn. And then I'm gonna go down with one, two single crochets. Now I'm going to do a decrease. So single crochet two together. And then I got three loops on my hook and I pull them all through. And then another single crochet decrease. So I'm following the exact same pattern that I did before. It's just that I'm doing single crochets. So here's another one, two, going up that hill. Now I'm at the top, so it's time to increase. Here's my first increase, so I put two tingle, single crochets. Here's my second increase, so another two single crochets. And so that's a one whole repeat. So here we are again, we're going down the hill with two regular single crochets. And now we'll SC two together. Pull through all the loops. Here's my second single crochet decrease or that SC two together. And then now I'm just going back up that hill again. So one, regular single crochet, two regular single crochets. Then I'll throw down an increase up here at the top of my mountain peak. And then go down again. So go ahead and finish up this row. Um, basically what we're gonna do is one row of your second color and then one row of your first color. So my lighter blue, this azure, azure, however you say it, color. And then I'm gonna put one more stripe and then um, I'll catch back up with you then. All right, so I just started my second row of these single crochets. So I did one row with the single crochets and then the row of double crochets with my first color. And then now I'm working on my second row. After I finish this row with the single crochets, I'm gonna do 15 more of our original style of row. So with color number one, which for me is this light blue color, I'm gonna do 15 rows with the double crochet stitches. And again, we're following the same pattern. So we're, um, like on my single crochet row, I just did my two increases. So now I'll do regular stitch, regular stitch, decrease, decrease, regular, regular, <laughs> increase, increase, and basically just follow that for the whole time. So finish up your stripes and then do your 15 rows with your original color with the double crochet pattern. Um, and then, I mean, I'm sure you can guess the ending. We're basically just gonna repeat <laughs> what we did at the beginning, but um, I will check back in with you after I've finished my 15 rows, just to make sure we're like all good and all on the same page. But cool, go ahead and work on that. Okay, so I have finished um, my 15 rows of the double crochet pattern using my first color. And so now I'm ready to finish up. And so basically we're just gonna do the opposite of what we did at the beginning. Um, so we'll do one skinny single crochet stripe, one of these double crochet rows, one skinny single crochet stripe, and then finish up with six rows of just the plain double crochets. Um, so I'm gonna join my teal color, but 
you know, you should pretty much know <laughs> like what to do right now since we've already done it before. So I'll show you a little bit, um, but basically you're just gonna finish up I got a really long tail. Let me fix that. <laughs> so I'm going to chain one and turn for my single crochet row. And so just like before, I'm going to put two single crochets in this first stitch. That's my increase. and tighten up my yarn and then I'll go down my hill with two normal single crochets and then here I am at a decrease so I'll SC two together and then do that again another single crochet two together and then two normal single crochets. And then two of my increases. So I'm gonna put two single crochets in this stitch and two in here, and then go down my hill with my two regulars and then I'll do my two decreases and you get the, <laughs> the idea. So just finish up. Remember, we're doing the same thing that we did at the beginning. So it'll look like this as you're finishing up where you've got this row that we're working on now, and then a row of the double crochets, and then another skinny stripe with single crochets, and then six rows of double crochets to finish up. And then you're done with your dish towel. So go ahead and finish all that up. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. If you want to get 30 days of newbie crochet tutorials and free patterns, um, sign up through the link in the description below. But otherwise, just subscribe to the You Should Craft channel so you don't miss any patterns or tutorials. And thank you so much for watching.